Hi, third grade. Hope you're having a great day today. We're going to be talking about murals today, and we're going to pretend that you have been hired by a zoo to paint a mural. Now, a mural is a large painting that's usually done on site, so it'll be done on a specific wall, either inside or outside of a building. Let's take a look at a mural that actually includes a lot of animals first. This is by Melissa Miller. Uh, Melissa Miller focuses a lot on animals in her work and her paintings tell a lot about how animals feel. She really studies how animals' faces look and tries to get expressions on those animals' faces. Um, and she does a really great job with both her color Color and the brushwork on the animals uh, as well as you can see. Um, notice how the animal shapes overlap in this painting or in this mural. Sometimes artists overlap shapes to show that one thing is behind the other or one thing is in front of the other and she's done a great job of that here. Let's take a look. This is another animal painting. This is by Edward Hicks. Um, he created an imaginary world where people and animals all lived in peace together. Now we normally would not expect to see these animals all together living in peace, right? Um, we probably would not see like goats and sheep laying down right by lions or even babies lying right down by lions, but this is a, his vision of peace where everybody is living in happiness um, together. So today, we are going to pretend that you as an artist have been hired by a zoo to create a mural and you're going to draw what your plan for that mural is. Let's take a look at an example of that. So here is a student artwork. You can see that the student has drawn multiple animals overlapping each other with an imaginary background. So lots of colors are used, um, lot, really lots of bright colors too in this, um, this image. Um, so you can pick whatever animals you would like. Uh, looks to me like this student maybe did some zebra and then we also see a little butterfly in there as well. But you can pick whatever you like. Um, think back to things that you might have seen at the zoo in the past. And you can put animals together that might not normally uh, be in the same area like Edward Hicks did. So you're going to need your crayons today, or actually your colored pencils today, your pencil, and your sketchbook. And meet me right back here. Okay, third grade, so I'm going to put up an image of just a whole bunch of different zoo animals that you can use as a reference if you would like to. Um, also today I'm going to start by just drawing with Sharpie just so you can see what I'm drawing a little bit better on the screen. Um, I'm going to start with the animals that I want close up. So I'm going to do this little camel first. Um, and I'm drawing with a Sharpie, which I might regret a little bit because with animals, I do tend to erase a lot. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I want to put anything in the front of my picture down first, and then I'll, I'll continue to add stuff in the background. But right now I'm just going to get the basic shapes of the different animals that I want in. And then I'm going to add um, a lot of details to my background too. Give this little guy an ear. Okay, so he's pretty much mapped out. I'm gonna move on to the next animal. So maybe I'll do just the elephant, like really, really close to us. So we just see his head, like he's coming close towards us. And I'm just putting his basic shapes down And if you have books or things that you would like to use for this project as references, you can definitely do that. I think I'll have his little trunk come up right about there. Okay, and I believe I'd like to do this little giraffe um, kind of poking his head out behind the elephant. And really think about what the zoo might like. Like what, what would the zoo like to have if you were designing this mural for them? They probably would want a lot of their most popular animals shown, um, looking friendly, not scary. So 
Lots of bright colors, I would think. Okay, so now I've got three starts of the animals. Now I'm gonna just start to think about what I'm doing in my background and maybe I'll add like a little bit here or there. But for my background, I'm just gonna go crazy with color. Um, so I'm gonna just give a little horizon line here behind my animals and then do some cool stuff I think with mountains and like really crazy shapes up in the sky. So this is where I can get a little bit creative and imaginative with what I'm drawing. And I think I'm gonna actually do my animals too in like all weird colors, but I'll see once I get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more details and then start color. So here is my finished design for a mural at the zoo. You may have noticed that I went with colors that the animals definitely are not, but I thought it might make for a very interesting mural and really attract people's attention if they saw a green giraffe and a purple camel. So um, I went with it. I think I like it a lot. Remember, this should look more sketch-like today. I did wind up using crayons for this because I felt like it just went a little bit better with the colors that I was using and it went a little faster with the crayons. So if you have crayons at home, you can use them. Otherwise, just use your colored pencils. I'm looking forward to seeing what animals you pick, how you overlap them, and seeing what your mural design looks like. I will see you all next week. Have a great week, everybody.